Hi guys, welcome to Yuki Guide. Before I start today's lesson, I would like to thank you all for supporting Yuki Guide. As you know that I recently started this channel and we are now a family of 1000 subscribers. I'm thinking that my lessons are really helping you out. So once again, thank you for your support. Now let's talk about what we have in today's lesson. Today's lesson is a song request. You must have seen one of my other lesson 10 Hindi songs where I've taught you 10 amazing Hindi hits. Now one of those songs was Luka Chippi and there was a common request by many of you to bring a detailed lesson on it. So here I am today, I'm giving you a detailed lesson on Luka Chippi. So take out your yukes. And let's start learning Luka Chippi. So guys, let's talk about what all chords we need in this song. Now to play this song, you need three chords. And these chords are chord C, chord F, and chord G. Now these chords are fairly simple. If you want to play chord C, you just need to put your ring finger on third fret first string and chord C will sound like this. To play chord F, you just need to play your index finger on 1st fret 2nd string and your middle finger on 2nd fret 4th string and chord F will sound like this. To play chord G, you need to place your index finger on 2nd fret 3rd string, your middle finger on 2nd fret 1st string and your ring finger on 3rd fret 2nd string and chord G will sound like this. Now once you know these chords, now our next plan is to understand the strumming. Now strumming is the main key of this song. So let's learn the strumming. So guys, the common strumming pattern what we are using in this song is Now let me break this pattern for you so that you can understand it in much better way. I'm trying to keep it as simple as I can so that even if you're a beginner, you can understand it clearly. Now, whenever you are playing chord C and chord G, you have to make sure that you'll play this particular part of this pattern. That is down, up. Now whenever you'll play chord F, then you'll play the same pattern, but you just need to add a down stroke after this pattern. So down, up, down, down. So as you can see, when you're playing chord F, you're using additional down stroke. Now this down stroke will be played with a stronger force than the other three strokes of this pattern. Now you will be repeating this pattern all over the song. And you have to be extra careful while switching the chords because this song is pretty quick and you have to change chords pretty rapidly. So be extra careful while switching the chords. So guys, I will be using a capo in this song and placing it on second fret like this. Now, if you do not have a capo, then you can play all these chords normally. Now I'm just using this capo to scale up my voice. So let's start playing the song. Tell me 
यहाँ उड़ने को मेरे खुला सुमा है तेरे किसो जैसा कोई सलो ना जहाँ है यहाँ सपनों वाला मेरी पतंग हो बेफिकर उड़ रही है माँ डोर कोई काट नहीं बीच से काटे ना आजा सांझ हुई मुझे तेरी फिकर धुंधला गई देख मेरी नजर राजा ना राजा सांझ हुई मुझे तेरी फिकर धुंधला गई देख मेरी नजर राजा ना सो गाइज आई एम श्योर आपको ये लेसन पसंद आया होगा एंड लाइक आई ऑलरेडी सेड कीप ऑन सपोर्टिंग यू की गाइड एंड इफ यू हैव अ सॉन्ग रिक्वेस्ट डू लेट मी नो इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो और कनेक्ट मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम और फेसबुक सो अंटिल नेक्स्ट टाइम डू टेक केयर एंड बाय